Welcome to Brains on Games. I'm Dr. Brian McDonald. Have your kids ever thought about driving fast cars or wanted to drive racing cars? What about repairing racing cars as a member of a pit crew? What if instead of fixing those cars, they were doing math? Well, that's the theme of this episode's game, Pit Crew. This is a game for up to nine players, age 10 and up, and it plays in only about 15 minutes. Like I said, it's the theme is about being a member of a racing car pit crew where you're getting the tires uh, changed on those cars, you're fueling it up, you're making sure that the engine is ready to go, and you're pushing that car out onto the track in order to begin the race. Let's take a look. So in pit crew, you're going to be working to get this car on the track and you might be working in teams of two or teams of three with everyone simultaneously playing cards to get the tires, the engine and the fuel filled up. Now the numbers you see beside the tires are your starting point. Your tires need to have a card placed on them that is one higher or one lower than the number beneath it. So I could play a number three here beside the four and then I could play a four on top of that. Each tire needs to have four cards. Once you've got those four cards played, you put a little tire cap on the end of it to show everyone that that's done. Here you see that there's two X's. Those X's mean that you have to have a pair of cards. Oh, and look, I managed to draw a pair of sevens. And this number, this to me is the most interesting part of the game. This number is the number that you need for fuel to get that car ready to go on the road. So as quickly as possible, you're playing cards that you're trying to add up to that number as fast as you possibly can. And you might have other people playing numbers onto your car at the same time. So that uh, makes it a little bit extra challenging. So of course, with everyone playing simultaneously and racing to get these numbers to add up properly so that they can get their racing car onto the track and move it forward, what you're trying to do is recognize these numbers as quickly as possible. That's a skill called rapid automatic naming. It's quick number recognition. Now, rapid automatic naming is a skill that we measure in psychological assessments when we're looking at reading with letter recognition skills, but also in math, if you're going to do those quick calculations, you need to just be able to recognize those numbers as quickly and automatically as possible. So rapid automatic naming is the first skill that's involved here in pit crew. Another ability is that you have to do those mental math calculations to get the, those cards to add up to 29. And if you're doing mental math, that requires working memory. You're working with numbers in your mind. Working memory, I think we've talked about it on a previous episode, working memory is like the whiteboard in your mind where you keep information so that you can do something with it. In this case, you're doing those mental math calculations to get those numbers to add up. So what do you do once you get that car ready to go out on the track? Well, here's the track. This would be set up in the middle of the table. Mine's not quite flat, but you get the idea. Once you've got your car all set up and ready to go, you grab one of these dice and you start rolling. Again, as quickly as you can. Each time you roll a six, you push your car forward one square on the board. Now you can see that there are only two dice, but there are three teams that might be working on these cars. And so the third person to finish, the final person to get that math done and to get their car ready to go out on the track, just says stop. Once that person says stop, everyone stops rolling. And then you start looking over your cars to see if you've made any mistakes. Each, for each mistake that you've made, your opponent's car moves forward. And if you make too many mistakes in a round, your car might be removed from the game. So that's Pit Crew a game requiring rapid automatic naming in the form of quick number recognition skills and working memory because you have to do fast mental math calculations. Now some kids find that simultaneous calculating to be kind of stressful. One of my boys finds this game to be quite a stressful one. Any game with time limits or racing involved really he finds to be a little stressful. He prefers strategy games where you can stop and think 
my other son and myself to, we just find it funny. Often I'll wind up making a few mistakes as I'm playing those cards just to get that car on the track as quickly as possible. We all have a good laugh about it afterwards. I think it might be even funnier, certainly more complicated, if you're playing with a team where you've got two players or three players all playing cards onto your car all at the same time. Uh, we've never had enough people together at the same time to play teams on Pit Crew, but I think that would make it even more hilarious, honestly, if you played it that way. Next time, we're going to talk about a game that's, that's really about economics, uh, a game that helps kids to understand supply and demand. It's a game that I really like. It's a bit more complicated in terms of strategy, so we'll take a look at that next time. Hopefully you'll join me. Uh, in the meantime, if you have any suggestions or comments, you can find me at brian at brainsongames.ca. The website, brainsongames.ca, is where you can find all the previous episodes if you'd like to check those out, and hopefully you'll join me for the next one. Thank <laughs> you.